Hi there and welcome to today's video. So today's video is my solar panel and battery update for April 2023. Um, so just a little recap uh, our installation. We have 12 solar panels. We have approximately 4.2 kilowatt system. Obviously it depends on the sun and a lot of things. Um, we have a 5.8 kilowatt battery, triple power, and a 3.7 kilowatt inverter uh, that is just behind me in the office behind that wooden door. Uh, so our supplier and rate. So it's a bit complicated, so I thought I'd take the time to go through that. Uh, in my last video, uh, one of the viewers kindly shared that he had uh, changed his rate to uh, Octopus Flux. And it's funny because I changed to Economy 7 maybe a month ago or two, a month and a half, I don't know, time flies by, not that long ago. And at no point did Octopus tell me about Flux. <laughs> so thank you for letting me know about Flux, you know who you are. Uh, so I looked into it and it's quite, it's not straightforward. And because of that, I'm no longer unboiled to tell you how much I would have paid if I didn't have solar panels, because there's so many rates that it's become incredibly complicated. But I still want to tell you how much we generated, how much we use, and compare it to our total consumption. So going back to the right, um, if you have solar panel and battery, uh, flux is actually really interesting. And I'm going to say probably not for winter, but definitely for summer. So the idea with, um, if you look on the, I don't know if it's going to be left or right on your screen. There's the octopus flux import rates on one side of your screen and the top right is the import and the bottom part is the export. And basically there's three different rates depending on when you use the electricity. So if you use electricity at night, uh, it's about 19.69p. If you use it in a normal daytime, it's about 32p. And if you use it at peak time, which is the time, you know, you know after people come back from work, so like between four and seven, sorry about the coughing, I have a little one, it's poorly. Uh, between four and seven, that's where it's going to be the most expensive, so 45p. So for people who have batteries, it's really interesting because if you fill up your battery throughout the daytime, then in theory, between four and seven, you, you wouldn't use anything from the grid because even in winter when the days are short, from four to seven p.m. you're still using your battery. So in theory, you're never using that 45, 93p per kilowatt in theory, assuming your battery is full. So that rate is really interesting for that. What's also really interesting is when you fill up your battery at night, between 2 and 5 a.m., the rate is 1969. So it's a bit more expensive than the Economy 7, which I think was about 17 or 18p. But that's offset by the fact that the day rate is 32p when the Economy 7 day rate, I think, was 43 or 45. So that's quite a big difference. So for us, it works out quite well. Um, and then in terms of export, it's really interesting because the normal rate for the export was 15p per kilowatt. So if you export between two and five with this flux rate, it will be 9p, which isn't great. It's less than the other rates. But if you export in a daytime, which is a case for us because we don't empty your battery in the daytime, uh, in the nighttime, sorry. Um, and we don't export in the nighttime either. Um, we only export in the daytime. So when we export in the daytime, instead of getting 15p, we're now getting 22p, which is more than we were used to on Economy 7. But it's even more interesting because I try to schedule my washing machines and dryer. I try to do them in the morning, first thing. Then the battery has time to fill up. Then by four o'clock, my battery is full and everything that's generated goes back onto the grid for 34.95p, not pound. Uh, so it's like, it's more than twice the rate we had before. So that flux rate, if you take time to look at it, it's really worth it. That said, I'm going to put a bit of a caveat here. Uh, my bill uh, from mid-March to mid-April with the Economy 7 rate for some reason did not get generated. So I don't actually know how much we actually for re effectively really are going to pay for that period. Um, and then we changed to flux from the 19th of April. So it's only on the 19th of May, so I will have a really good idea of what we paid for April. And then someone said they thought I was a bit conservative and I'm actually thinking, yes, maybe I was with the amount of, sorry, conservative with how long it will take to get the money back for the solar panels. Because if we work with that flux rate, 
we should make a lot more money from exporting and we will still save quite a lot by importing at those rates. So anyway, I'm quite positive and quite excited about the summer months. The winter months, not so much. I have to say, Birmingham, the weather has been really average. We had, um, so as record, at the time of recording this, it's the 9th of May. Uh, Coronation Day was cloudy and rainy all day, I believe. Um, the Sunday was lovely, it was beautiful. We had so much sun, it was great. And then the Monday, it rained all day. And today it's been pretty average, it's been a lot up and down and it's 6 p.m. and my battery is already down to 70% or something. So it really depends on the weather, it's really hard to tell. But yeah, that rate I think is really interesting. Obviously you might not be with Octopus, so in that case, sorry about that. If you are thinking about moving with Octopus, I have a referral rate, uh, not a referral rate, a referral code. And we can share, I think it's £100 to split, so it's £50 each, unless you have a business. Then I think it's paid two hundred pounds. But anyway, I was really excited about that. I thought I'd let you know. So let's get to our actual figures. Uh, our average daily consumption for April uh, from our total consumption was ten point nine kilowatt. Um, I think that will go down throughout the summer. But I have to say because it's been quite cloudy, quite rainy, we spend quite a lot of time indoors and we use the TV quite a lot. Um, my son also has a computer upstairs, he's getting older, so he has a computer upstairs, he plays video games more and my daughter is getting older and she plays computer games downstairs, so we use overall I think quite a lot more energy than we used to. Um, the number of days where we generated more than 8 kilowatt this month is 25 days, so that's really good. I don't remember the exact number for last month, but I think it was like 12 days, it was really sad. <laughs> so that's really cool. So um, in terms of solar panel generation comparison by month, um, in October we generated about 315 kilowatts, in November it went down by half, 141, December was quite poor, 106, January uh, 153, February started going back up, 226, March, March was sad, March was sad all around, 241, and then April, 420, so that's really exciting, and I think last year, so we had the solar panels fitted on the 26th of April, 2022, so it's been a year, um, and if I remember correctly, March was, May, sorry, was a really good month last year, so I'm quite excited to see that. So, as I was saying, the electricity we generated from our solar panels is 420, <coughs> The electricity we used from a grid, 138. The electricity we exported, 228 kilowatts. And our total consumption for April was 329. So we have definitely generated more than we're using. Obviously, we are still losing some of it, but because we sell it back to the grid, particularly with this new flux rate, we sell it back to the grid at a minimum of 21p, because I don't sell at night, and we buy electricity at night, I think it was for 19p or something, we should actually make a bit of money at some point. If we, if all the days were perfect days, we'd make some money. I will look back and let you know. It's really hard without having an actual bill because I can't calculate my own bills anymore. But I think it'll give you like a really good idea of, from April, you can make like a decent amount of sun, assuming that weather is on our side really so anyway i hope that's useful uh thank you very much to everyone who takes time to share um the electricity to generate the electricity they used uh the rates they used sharing you know advice and helping others in the comment section that's really kind of you so thank you very much for that and um, i hope you have a lovely rest of the week and i will see you in my next video bye